Hey, it's Bullfrog. I uh, thought some of y'all might be curious to know how I clean these little brim here. Uh, these are the ones I caught earlier today. I got them cleaned and ready for the frying pan. I'm going to show you how to do this. It's pretty simple. Take your brim here, and it is still alive. And by the way, you hear the water pump going in the background. I am in camp. I do have running water here. You know, I got a table to do this on, but you're in the woods. You can most certainly, um, you know, find a flat rock, find a stump, find something, you know, to clean your fish on. You do need something, though, to brace the fish with. And um, here, take your brim. I want to kill it first. I'm going to take my knife, put it right behind the eye, run it down, just like that. All right, I'm going to let that sit for a few seconds, just for him to be good and dead. Now, he'll be twitching, but he's dead for all practical purposes. He's gone. Wherever fish go where they die, or when they die, that's where he's at now. So the next thing I'm going to do is scale him. i got a scaler with me. I carry a scaler in my, my backpack with my fishing kit. We're going to scale both sides of them. We're going to use the knife here to brace them so um, I can hold them. Go ahead and get all of them scales off of there. I have to flip them around. Make sure you get them around those fins. Flip them around to the other side. Do the same thing. To wash them off. I got a water hose right here. To wash them off with. Get some of this fish slime out of the way. Now you might see him twitch there. That's all right. He is dead. I promise you. Now. We're going to cut his head off. And what we're going to do is we're going to go behind the gill slit right there. We're going to cut it diagonal so that it takes these front fins off with it, like this, just like that. Now, if you were in real dire straits in the woods, and you know, this is the only fish you got, see, there's a little bit of edible meat right there too, but we don't need that, so we're going to discard that. We're going to now cut his fins off. It's real important you get rid of these. These are real dangerous. These have killed many animals swallowing them. The, when their fish is being swallowed by an animal like a bird, it'll try to poke these spines out like that and it'll often get lodged in the throat. So what, what most animals do is try to swallow them head first so these spines keep pushed down and just swallow them th through the throat like that. But we're gonna cut those off. Try to cut them off just below the skin without cutting off too much meat. Now, I will tell you, some people actually leave those on and fry them and say that they become really crunchy. I haven't tried that, so I can't confirm or deny that. But we're going to cut them off just to be safe. Cut the tail off. Cut the bottom fin off here. that so that's gone now you see there's guts and there's not a lot of guts inside of these things I'm gonna take my knife split this inside a little bit here just enough to to go inside here and take the guts out just like that and then I'm gonna wash them out Get the water hose Wash that body cavity out. There. See? And you gotta trim a little bit more of that top fin off right there. That's a little brim, scaled, ready for the frying pan. Now his ribs are still in it. 
be careful when you eat them, but they're gonna fry it. They are gonna fry it real crunchy when you fry them up. So you can just, you can either, if you want it to be like a restaurant and you sit here and pull the pin bones out, but that's pretty darn inefficient. Fry them up and just be careful when you eat it. So there's my bounty from the Cypress Pond. I'm gonna fry these up and that's gonna be my lunch. Well, thank you all for watching. Uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna try to film a, a uh, another coon hunt for y'all this evening. We'll see how it goes.